Okay, here's an extra video for the 7.2 videos, uh, all to do with the radical and the rational exponent uh, section. Now, um, okay, so uh, the reason why this is different is I realized I'd done some videos where they were both x's, you just have to change the uh, radical form to the rational exponent form, in other words, fractions, and just add or subtract the fractions, because it was okay, because the base was the same. Now here, look at this, we've got different things inside the square root. So we still need to kind of change this to its fractional form, okay, the rational exponent form. So a four, the fourth root of four is written like this, okay, remember? There's a four, it's a fourth root, so I can write it as one fourth, all right? It's like saying, okay, there's the one, there's the four, one over four, okay? The square root of two is two, the square root is a half, that's a notation for square root. And again, if you want to think of that as a two there, and 2 is just a 2 to the 1. That's where the 1 half comes from. Now look, I still can't combine these. I can't add the fractions because they don't have the same base. One's base 4, okay, the big 4, and one's a 2. Um, so I can't do that. Uh, but what I can do, I can still combine the fractions, okay? I can still deal with the fractions. Um, I'm not going to add them, okay, because I can't. Uh, one's base 4, one's base 2. Okay, I can only do x's and x's, or 3's and 3's with these exponents, all right? So there's two different bases, a 4 and a 2. Now then, right, let's have a look at this. That is 4 to the 1 fourth still, all right? It's been multiplied by 2. Now what's a half in terms of fourths? It's 2 fourths, okay? So now I do have the same denominator, I still can't add them, okay? I can't add 1 fourth and 2 fourth, again, I keep emphasising this, because 1's a 4 and 1's a 2, the base. What I can do is, is I now realise that both of these have the same root, okay? They are both the fourth root. The original question was 1's a fourth root and 1's a square root. But I've just converted the second one into a fourth root. Look, there's the denominator, it's a 4. So what I've actually got is this. Inside a big fourth root, I have a 4 to the power 1. I'll write it. I don't really need the 1. Okay, I'll write it. I've also got a 2 to the power 2. Okay, because remember, they've both got the fourth root, which means I can write everything inside a fourth root. So what's 2? Okay, there we go. Okay. So basically, that's what I've got. So it's a fourth root, but 1's a 4 to the power 1. 1's a 2 squared. Okay, based on looking at the numerators. Right, so, uh, fourth root, uh, 2 squared is, so remember this is 4, okay, so 4 times 4 will give me 16, what's the fourth root of 16? It is 2, okay, and that's the answer for that, believe it or not, that is 2, okay. So I'm going to do the other one, again, similar method, so watch this one as well, if you wasn't too sure on what I was doing on that one. Um, so remember, I end up changing it to the same denominator, not because so I can add them, because I can't because they're different bases, it's because I could put them back into the same root. So if the denominators are the same, that means it's the same root. Um, okay, so again, I'll write this, 2 to the 1 fourth, because that's what this means, all right? I'll put a little 1 there, okay? This x is to the 1 third, all right? That's what cube root means, okay, if I want to write a little one there, okay? So, that's it. Now, again, I can't add these because one's base 2 and one's base x. But what I can do is write this as, right, the common denominator of 4 and 3 is 12. I'll leave that for you guys. So, 1 fourth becomes 3 twelfths, okay, times the x is 1 third. Again, common denominator is 12, but this becomes 4 twelfths. Now again, remember, I can't, I still can't combine these. One's a base 2 and one's a base x. So I'm not going to add these. I'm not going to get 7 twelfths because I add 3 twelfths and 4 twelfths. What I'm doing is this. I now know that they both are root 12. Originally, it was root 3 and root 4, all right? So I can write a 12 here, okay? Now, here we go. 1 is a 2 cubed. Everyone's going... 1 is an x fourth. And pretty much, you're pretty much there now. Um, that's a decent answer. All you really need to do is change this 2 cubed to an 8. Okay? 
So the final answer, now I forgot some space, is this. It's the 12th root of 8, just because I've changed the 2 cubed to an 8, x fourth. Okay? And that's it. Okay, so remember, I'm changing it to the same denominator, not because I can add them, but because I can write it as the same root. This was common denominator of 12, so I can write it as the 12th root of whatever it is that I've got left. Okay?